Yin Qing Dynasty 朝服 the imperial dress also was called the Li Fu and the Ju Fu. The imperial dress was the highest rank dress. It was only used in few very important formal events, so there wasn't many chance to wear it. Generally, the times of wearing the imperial dress was positive correlated with a person's social status. In the whole country, the emperor had most chance to wear his imperial dress, but. Even the emperor, he had less twenty times per year to wear this formal dress. For example, in year seventeen fifty two, the emperor Qianlong only wore his imperial dress seventeen times, eight times for worship. In year eighteen fifty four. The Emperor Xianfeng wore his imperial dress twelve times, eleven times for worship. So in Qing Dynasty TV drama, we see the Emperor wearing his imperial dress to go here and there. That's impossible in the real history. For royal family members, all males were allowed to wear the imperial dress. In the inner court, the imperial concubine was the last rank that had the imperial dress. The princess and wife of the prince were allowed to wear the imperial dress. Outside the royal family, all levels of formal government officers were allowed to wear the imperial dress. Manchuria noble ladies. Whose title was over level seven could wear the imperial dress. There was no requirement for Han Chinese noble ladies to wear Manchuria imperial dress, so they could wear Ming style dress. In the book Da Qing Hui Dian, there was detailed descriptions of the imperial dress for different rank people, but. Most lower government officers never ever made the imperial dress. In Qing Dynasty, the government officers should make government costumes using their own money, so the lower rank officers didn't spend money on an extremely expensive clothes, which he had no chance to wear. If someday a miracle happened, those officers usually borrowed the imperial dress. Males' imperial dress had six parts: chao guan, bu gua, chao pao, chao zhu, chao dai, and chao xue. Females' imperial dress also had six parts: chao guan, imperial hat. Chao pao imperial suit, chao gua cover, chao qun shirt, chao zhu, and the chao xue shoes. But when female wear her imperial dress, she also should wear some required decorations. Generally, the imperial suit had four colors. Yellow, blue, dark blue, and dark olive yellow. Yellow was the color only for the royal family members. In Qing Dynasty, according to users' rank, there were there were three yellow could be used. Bright yellow was only used by the emperor, the emperor's daughter, and the empress. In Qing in Qianlong's time. He allowed his imperial noble consort Hui Xian to use bright yellow. After that, the imperial noble consort became the fourth person could use bright yellow. Abrock yellow was the color for the crown prince and his wife, but in Hou Qing Dynasty, there was only one crown prince. 
who was the oldest son of the Kangs of the Emperor Kangxi and his first empress. After Kangxi, Qing Dynasty didn't publicly promote the crown prince, so Abrek Yellow was used for only thirty-seven years. Golden Yellow was color for the noble consort, consort, and the sons of the emperor, but. After the little prince got the noble title, he couldn't use golden yellow anymore. Even this prince got the title of the first rank prince. The color he could use was blue or dark blue. But in Yongzheng's time, the prince Yi of the first rank was allowed to wear golden yellow. Because he was a very special little brother for Yongzheng, I will make a video about their relationship in future. Empress noble consorts should wear dark olive yellow imperial suit. Other people, according to their ranks, they could use blue, dark blue, and dark olive yellow. For cover. Generally, people should choose among black, blue, and dark blue, because people needed to wear cover outside the imperial suit. So, although the imperial suit was colorful and beautiful, but only a small, small bottom part of it could be seen by people. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.